how does micromotion directly measure gas-specific gravity? The Micromotion Specific Gravity Meter, or SGM, builds off the foundation of vibrating element gas density meters, using the principle that frequency of vibration is inversely proportional to density. However, the SGM takes this one step further, with a unique design that establishes a proportional relationship between the measured gas density and gas-specific gravity. Since molecular weight can be determined from gas-specific gravity, there is a similar relationship between the measured gas density and molecular weight as well. Let's look at the mathematics and mechanics of how this is achieved. The meter has three primary components, a vibrating element sensor, a reference chamber, and a diaphragm. Both the sample gas in the sensor and the reference gas in the chamber can be described with the ideal gas law. During commissioning, the reference chamber is filled and sealed off from the process, establishing a constant volume and quantity of gas to maintain a constant density and molecular weight. The reference gas is selected to match the compressibility factor of the sample gas during operation. After passing through the initial pipework, gas coming into the meter first flows through the sensor. The meter design and material act as a heat sink to establish thermal equilibrium between the sample and reference chamber gas. Gas inside the sensor surrounds a thin-walled cylinder that is driven by an electromagnetic spool body. During calibration, the natural frequency of vibration of the cylinder is characterized and associated to gas-specific gravity or molecular weight. As the gas exits the sensor, it then travels beneath the diaphragm before exiting the meter. During operation, the diaphragm movement equalizes the pressure between the gas in the chamber and the sample gas passing through the sensor. With this approach, the influence of pressure, temperature, and compressibility on the sample gas has been removed, and the proportional relationship between the gas density and specific gravity mentioned earlier is achieved. As a result, only changes in gas composition will cause a change in the measurement of the sensor, and a continuous flow through the meter is able to provide a real-time specific gravity measurement with an accuracy up to 0.1%. For more information on the Micromotion SGM, please visit micromotion.com density.